Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Netflix. What an outstanding everything. I mean, gosh, this is just like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. So let's go over it. Uh, Target today, I, I mean, I said earlier, I said yesterday, actually, that tomorrow Netflix is going to go. It was a great call. I should have done a video and put it out on the net. I didn't have time to last night. I was working on talking to people about the class and getting people signed up for the class this weekend for the Golden Gap class. So I never had time to do a video last night. But I did say it in my live trading room, and everybody that was there heard me say it. And then actually it gapped up last night. And one of the people in the room texted me that it gapped up. And then I knew that it was going to go at least to 420 today, which was the target I said yesterday in the room. Then I saw it do what it did this morning. It blew through 420, and then the next number was 425 and 430. This is actually going to even get over 430. This is crazy. It is over 430. <laughs> I love this. Netflix is on pace to be the golden gap of the year for 2014, and we're only in the second month of the year here. I mean, come on. This is pretty, pretty amazing. Netflix is going to get to 750 this year. That's the call. Netflix to 750 this year, 2014. It's got a year to do it. That's within its sights and perfectly reasonable. Last year, Netflix was the bullish golden gap of the year because of what it did, the move that it made. It actually did a correction. <clears throat> Let's just go back and look at this whole thing from the start. Here's all the move in Netflix. I remember trading this all in here in 09 and 010. And look at the rally that it made. I remember the days I was doing it where, you know, Netflix has so much power, so much power. It's just, it feels so great to be in something that has a lot of momentum and volatility when you're in it in the right direction. I mean, that's why I love to trade gaps. Anyways, then Netflix gapped down here. You can see how this broke. This was actually in 2011. Feels like a long time ago now, doesn't it? And then look what it did. And here's all of the down move in Netflix, okay? It actually did get to the dream target. If you look, look at this. Netflix got to the dream target to the downside. It did it. And that's the great thing about charts and trends and stocks. Nothing lasts forever, so you can play something hard in one direction, stick with the trend. And then if it does a correction, you play it hard in, in, the, in the new trend. And that's what you could have done with this. You could have been long Netflix all up into this first move. You would have known to get out of the long here on the gap, okay? was a good bearish gap, a professional gap, a golden gap at the time this happened here and started the move and there it went. So then this happened here and now at this point you don't do anything, you're not buying the stock here. You don't buy bottoms, but you can wait for the correction to happen and it happened and I, I actually called it before it happened, just like I called this one here before it happened. You could have bought Netflix here immediately on the gap up that happened in 124, 2013. What, what an outstanding trade if you were in that. So the idea of this getting to 750 this year is 100% realistic and could surpass it even. But let's be realistic here, 750 for Netflix this year. Here was the buy last year, and you could have bought Netflix on this gap, but many people wanted to short and been in it. Held, held, held. Every day I said, it's getting ready, it's getting ready, it's getting ready. And did this huge, be beautiful monster day here on the 28th. And then I kept watching it. And every day I, and every day the market was falling in here, I kept saying, buy Netflix. You want to buy something? Buy Netflix. You want to buy something? Buy Netflix. of 100% conviction in Netflix. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. I don't, I don't know if anybody believed me. Some people did and have capitalized on my call. But yesterday when I said Netflix was going to go today, even I, even I am surprised at the movies is making in the day here. Market's helping this, but that's not the reason this is happening. This is happening for a combination of reasons. All coming together here. This is this is one of these super duper, super duper plays that you really just don't get all the time. Netflix is actually gapped up. It was a bullish gap up, a continuation gap to the bullish side, a great, beautiful, fantastic gap, number one. Netflix also did a breakout play on the daily chart. This is a breakout play today. Netflix basing, 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 breaks out. It's a breakout play. Netflix is also triggering a daily buy setup. Okay, it's also doing that. Netflix is also in a bullish uptrend anyways, and today you're getting the market running too. So it's everything. I mean, this is, you know, it's rare you get like 17 things, but it had it. And you could have been in this today it, aggressively, aggressively into the open in the my favorite trading time of the day, which is the first five minutes of the day. And let's look at it. 
I love this thing. I love Netflix. Have to get re-signed up for that here. Had all these movie channels that really haven't needed Netflix, but I miss it, so I'm gonna have to re-sign up for it. I'll help it get to 750. <laughs> all right, let's look here. So Netflix open came in. Do do do. Nice little setup in here, held 410, and you could have bought it very aggressively here. Did a sandwich and could have done an ad right in here. This is amazing. Look at how this held here. I mean, this is really good, people. And then it shot up and never looked back. Stop here even is really good, actually, for Netflix. It's a dollar stop plus a spread. I mean, that's actually really great. Not just for Netflix, but for any stock at this price point. The price point's $410. $410 a share for a dollar stop. This is like a steal here to be able to get this entry. It's a steal, okay? And it ran all the way up here, went to the target, blew through the target. So, you know, this is this is actually 11, 12 hour trade here. This is just incredible, I love it. And you could have done the ads and you, you wouldn't add past this port, but even the time today here was good, it was only 9.45. So open, drops down, holds and support, holds and support, triggers, rallies up. Rallies up makes a new high, you stay with it. Comes on down, here's the resistance, comes on down to support, holds, rallies up. Keeps going. I mean, it's still going, but you would have had to really get all out and then re-enter it here for a day trade. And and I said buy any rally in Netflix today. Buy every rally in Netflix today. Buy every rally in Netflix today. And you could have bought it here, and you actually could have bought it around lunch, which is not an ideal time to take new trades. But I said this morning you could just buy every rally on Netflix today, um, meaning you buy the buy the dips in. Every pull in you buy. Hmm, look at that. So it made it over the 4:30. This might be the end here because it's getting late. It's 10 and 3. But as far as holding this trade for a core trade, which a lot of people are doing on my call, it's, it's, it's got so much more room in it here. And now that it had the fat, nice day today, this continues on Monday. This will have some follow through here. I know that it didn't really after this day, but go back and look what the market was doing here. And honestly, this just needed a rest after this. Huge gap up, fall in here, big green day. Rest, rest, take a nap, take a nap, take a nap, go. I knew it would go today, it was such a great call. Oh, Netflix is really outstanding. I mean, this is power. So you want to know what power looks like? This. I was talking about this earlier in the room today. I have no idea why people like to do things that they think make sense, but really is, has totally doesn't make any sense at all. you got to think and have common sense when you're trading. Stocks are like people. They want to do the easiest thing that's possible for them. What is the easiest thing for Netflix to do? The easiest thing for Netflix to do is just keep running higher. It, it's not even taking a lot of energy for it to do it because it's actually just doing what's easy for it. This is why this whole concept of going against a trend makes no sense at all. Stocks like to do what is the easiest thing for them. They're not really any different from people. People always like to do what's easy. I mean, let's face it. People like to do what's easy. People really prefer to do what's easy than to do any work, okay? And stocks really want to do what's easy. Going with the trend of a stock, if it's continuing, is easy for it. It's hard for it to go against itself. It's easy for it to continue itself. So the easiest thing for Netflix to continue to do is to continue to run up. It's the easiest thing for it to do. And that's why the idea of shorting Netflix here in this gap was crazy, because that would have been hard for it to do. It's easy for it to keep going. This gap here that happened in Netflix was a brand new gap, a bullish gap, a brand new gap here in this chart that was fantastic and continued this move up here higher that's making a, a new highs at the moment. But honestly, even when this happened here, I said it was still going to get over this bar. Now, it took a little while, but not that long considering the length of this bar here. And all that happened here was profit taking back here. That's all that was going on with this, okay? This is power here to make a gap like that. The stock closed at 333.73 and opened here the next morning at 387.40. There's only one thing that can make a stock go and close at 333 and go up to 387 in one night. Buying, okay? So if people have new buying and just bought this, they're not gonna sell out of it. And, and they're still buying it, and they're still buying it, and they're still gonna keep buying it, and this is really gonna have another great year here. I mean, this seriously might be the golden gap of the year here again for Netflix. So 
I know people like to get tricky and think about doing the opposite, and it's just this whole idea of something to hang it, hanging in midair that people don't don't understand. So they think that something's going to go against itself, but that's not the case. The understanding comes from knowing what people are actually doing with the position holders. Who is in this? Who is the power of money? Who are the institutions that are buying or selling the stock or shorting it? Okay, because hedge funds can take short positions too. So you have to understand what are they doing. They are giving the stock a lift. They're buying it. So you want to be with those people. You don't want to be against them. And it's easier for the stock to continue to get a lift here now. So it's going to do it. It's going to roll with it and ride with it wherever it goes. It's the same thing if something is, you know, tired. But Netflix is not tired. Netflix has all the energy in the world. And it took a nap for about a week and a half. So... I mean, I, I think this could even hit up through a 450 by Monday. This is this this is gonna have a nice little rally here. I think we get three green bars here in a row with this rally here in Netflix continuation here follow through. At least one more green one for the Monday. We'll see how big that green bar is. Okay, Netflix is outstanding. Amazing call that I made in this even before the gap that it would gap up a year ago when it would correct the chart and go from a downtrend to an uptrend. The move here, the the breakout play. What I said in the room yesterday for this to go today to 420, I mean, <laughs> there's some things that there's just no uh, substitution for. Let's put it that way. And it's reading gaps. There's no substitution for reading gaps. I can put all the indicators in the world I want on my charts. Everything. Everything in the world. I can make this look like a planetary solar system of indicators. I could have every Fibonacci figured out. I could have every algorithm and Fibonacci figured out. I could, I could have charts and computers and people lined up. I could have a whole room of things here. There's no substitution for just me, my eyes, and my brain reading the price. And, and, and if you're a person that's a trader, you've got those things. You've got a brain, you've got two eyes, and you have the ability to be able to learn how to reprice. And that's all you need. I mean, it, that is all you need. And it's really all on the gaps. That's the way I'm able to read the price in something like this, to call these trades and go Netflix, go baby, go. 430 4.30.49, 4.30.50. That might be it for today, but it is 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock on a Friday. You know, most people are done trading, but Netflix has all... In fact, Netflix could even gap up on Monday. Who knows? I mean, after a bar like this, you think, well, it's done for now. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> so this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. actually have a Golden Gap course this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to be snowed in doing the Gap class. And I love teaching the gap class, and I love gaps, and I love Netflix. We'll find out if Netflix is going to be the golden gap for 2014. It certainly is off to a head start. It's actually surpassed everything so far. We'll see what Netflix, what more it has to give. If you'd like more information on the golden gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.